Hi guys, welcome back to the Green Team DNO Gauge. And this little video, it shouldn't be too long, is a look at me doing some modelling on the depot building. It's been coming slowly along now and uh, is looking vastly improved as you can see in the picture behind me. Uh, this video is going to be just going through the building of the window frames. Each one is different and individually made and uh, just using styrene. So just sit back, enjoy and uh, I'll just take you through what I've done to get this far. To start off with for the main window frame I'm going to use some uh, 40 by 80 thou styrene strips from Evergreen and that is going to make the basic window frame around the four windows. The windows are all slightly different sizes so I'm going to use my vernier calipers here and I'm going to set the length of the bottom of the window from end to end, lock that in and that is the length I'm going to trim the first piece of styrene to. So my little bit of styrene strip I can now glue in along the bottom with my super glue. So with my hand there you can see quite clearly where I have glued the window frame onto the ledge and I'm just going to repeat that now for the top and the two sides. We're down to the last one now so again just going to stick the vernier caliper in there, set the length styrene to length with my knife and the vernier caliper dry check it it fits lovely there so I shall now run a bead of super glue enough just to leave it there because it's going to soak into the wood slightly and then lay the frame in position using my screwdriver here I'm just going to line up the ends push in at the bottom push out at that end too far, so just push it back in. Make sure it's pushed down, and that is all the window frames into the building. Okay, now we've got the initial window frame in all the way around. I'm now going to mark on the bottom and ascribe a line on all the window frames and I'm going to do that on all these sides as well and that will be the bottom I'll just grab a piece of plastic here and I shall be now gluing a crossbar from the pencil line to the pencil line across the window as my next job. And now having glued it this uh sorry having cut it I'll try it before I get some glue and that is just the perfect size for fitting in there. So I shall now get my styrene cement blob on each end for this rather than the super glue and then we're I'm going to line it up at the bottom of the pencil line part of my head on both sides 
hey presto just move this down a touch and that's where I want it flush with the back and nice and straight Well, this is what we we're aiming for. The six windows, the bottom one slightly bigger than the others. Thin vertical bars there and fatter ones at the top. So we've now got the horizontal bar in. So again, using the two by one mil, or whatever it is, the, yes, yeah, two by one millimeter wide. We're gonna make the vertical pillars to stick into there to make the windows square and then using the thinnest material which I've got is in here is the quarter by one millimeter and I'll use that as the bottom strips downwards So finally, this really thin styrene strip, it's really small and very flexible. I cut into short bits to fit in the window here and a little spot of glue at the top. Stick the styrene strip into it so it hung down, a little bit of glue at the bottom and then maneuver it in position. That way I have more control and we just stuck it on and just use that little bit of grippiness in the glue to hold it at the top where I want it and let gravity hold it down straight and when it was where I wanted it a little drop of glue at the bottom and stick it in place and that is how it came out So this window frame is easy. It's all going to be the 1x2mm styrene strip. I'm just going to make the frame as I did previously around the outside edge and then just put the four or three bars to make the four windows. So that's that window frame in and done. Um, I like it white, but unfortunately it's got to be painted black for this window. So there's another window done, so now we're going down onto the office windows. This office window here is an easiest one of all. It is just a square frame with a plain piece of glass in it. So I'll show you just again. Glue in four bits of styrene strip, and that's redone. We have the office door and window frame all done in there. We have that single pane of glass window in the wall there. That's an open door and all good. And that window there is a like a tile block window made out of big blocks of glass. So that one is going to be a slightly different means of manufacture. I have an idea for that, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. We have here above the doorway under the water tower four panes of glass to go in there once I've painted the window frames black and finally the windows complete in the tower so that is where we're up to so this will be a good point to end this little video and we'll get on and cracking with some detail on the building such as notice cases and things like that as the next part of the job before I put the actual glazing in place. So if you enjoy that please like, subscribe and uh, share if you know of anyone who would find this interesting and I'll catch you next time. Enjoy your modelling, stay safe, see you soon. Bye.